What drew you to the project? Why was it so important for you to make this film? Well, I was so interested. I thought it was a big challenge to take a subject that everybody goes through, you know, between your friends, relatives, somebody's going to, you know, deal with cancer at some point in your life. So how do, how do you take that subject, which could be, uh, you know, a difficult, sentimental, or manipulative subject, but really take you through it like a real experience, you know, that yeah. you feel it, you and you experience it with people that have this sense of humor, wit, grace that keeps you kind of laughing at the same time as you're going, no. <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I read in the production notes that you you found the kind of the elements of real life, the relationships, the the everyday minutiae really juicy. Can you talk about that a little bit, please? Yes, I think that that was kind of one thing that was great in Morena Banks' script, is that she, each scene she found something that's like a real life thing that you would be dealing with, and you know, and that was the way to express, you know, maybe deeper themes and deeper values, so that you felt like you were really kind of there with these people and you were like fully immersed in their experience. So. Well, I think you look at Drew Barrymore and all of her work that she's done, and she's had an incredible life too, coming from a very tough childhood, single mom, you know, all kinds of drug addiction at an early age that she wrote about in her book. And to become this kind of amazing person that she is, a director, producer, actor, you know, does makeup lines, all kinds of stuff, and writes books, and you know, she's like superwoman. But bringing all that like richness and depth to this character to be this like great best friend, the best best friend that anyone could ever have. <laughs> It's just, it's a great ensemble cast. What are you looking for when, you, when you're casting a film like this? Well, you're hoping that each actor that you meet with, you know, has that kind of quality that hopefully they, they love the project, they can relate to it, and then you see ways that they can do something maybe different than they've never done before. Like Dominic, you, we often see him playing like a bad guy or, you know, just a, quite a different role. I don't think I've ever seen him as like a rock and roller that turns into a cool dad. And he's like a really stand-up great like husband. Like, and you want to be like, I'd like to be married to him. Not only is he hot, but you know, and Patty, same thing. You know, he's just got he's just got that lovely soulfulness, and you know, you just kind of love him. And we don't see um, male characters in films that are so rich and great as these two guys. I feel like a lot of times you see him like, you know, assassins or man boys that have never grown up. But these guys are cool. Some new business. Oh, a bit bigger, please. Mama. Come on, Frank and Tits. Let's get you bandaged up. I really want you to be a heaven. Think they'd let me in then? Not unless they've lowered the entry requirements. <laughs>